these are exciting times, very exciting times. Um, not only for MICE, which has now obviously been repackaged as business events, um, because, you know, when we had the MICE before, it was a specific, it was very limited. Um, of course, you had the incentive, you had the meetings, uh, all of that type of stuff. But business events is a lot more broader. Um, it's anything that to include weddings, birthday parties, graduations, whatever, with, with that. But um, exciting times for Kenya, uh, because we are probably at 30% of um, where we should be right now. Uh, I know it's probably a contradictory of words because 30% is low numbers, but again, if you flip it around, it is a blank canvas. Um, we make up about a quarter of uh, the tourism uh, for the country, and we're only at 30% of our potential. Uh, it's a new market, it's an emerging market. Think of the safari product or the beach product 20, 30 years ago for Kenya, and you've seen how well, that's panned out for the country, uh, out of Africa, you know, all those different types of things that come out of it. So in terms of business events and uh, MICE, extremely exciting times. Um, it's a time that also you're able to then see uh, uh, economy grow. Uh, when, we, when we hold uh, business events in the, in the city, we not only benefit as a venue, but we, ven we benefit as a city and we benefit as a country. Uh, I like to refer to it as an uh, economical, economic ripple effect. Um, just because the business tourist is very different to the regular tourist. You come in, um, nine to five is when you're coming for your specific meeting or your event. What happens after five o'clock? The nightlife. You're pumping your dollars into the restaurant, into the entertainment, into, you know, we're a strategically positioned country. You know, uh, 30 minutes on a plane, you're at the beach. Um, four hours on a train, you're at the beach. Um, going through safari. You know, 45 minutes, you're doing safari as well. So we're also heavily now also packaging pre and post packages for the business delegate, um, known as a delegate experience. Nothing new, but that's something that we're doing as a country and going heavily for. So again, when I say it's exciting, it's exciting because um, all the stakeholders benefit. The hoteliers, um, the transport, taxis, Ubers, um, local, lo local transport, um, airlines, um, like I said, everybody outside of. And again, um, the actual, I think the people or the actual brand that benefits the most is the country. Um, it shows we're open for business. And the fact that we're getting a lot of bookings shows confidence, shows um, capability, and shows readiness. So um, for me, it's, it's a very exciting time and extremely honored to be right in the middle of it and, and the center of it. You know, um, again, we, like I said, we've got Rwanda, which is just uh, across the border. We've got Tanzania, we've got Uganda, East Africa counterparts. Uh, three hours away, we've got South Africa um, down south. Three and a half hours up, we've got North Africa, and then we've also got West Africa. So um, we're the focal point, we're the central point. And um, the fact that everybody is coming on board, I think if you'd even look at the fluctuation of, what, of what's going on, it's not only is KICC the dominant holders and players before, you've got a lot of the emerging, um, especially the hoteliers, the event organizers, creating that space. Because again, what people are realizing is that even as the hoteliers, people are wondering, why are the hoteliers getting involved? Why are um, you know, hotels and everybody getting involved? The reason for that is because you know, there's, a, there's a change in God. Um, a lot of the times before hotels would book um, or create or build ballrooms for events. You know, now that's beginning to come back with your gala dinners or with your events, but that space is also being utilized as conference facilities. Set it up in a different sort of way. You've got auditorium style. You have a meeting that you can hold with um, 100 to 200 people. So it's utilization of dead space which is now um, being able to be used 12 hours of the day, not only the last few hours of the evening. So um, for me, it's, it's, um, it's, it brings a smile to my face because, again, the potential is, is huge. Um, and the fact that we're all working together is great.